Hey, um, before I start this video, I want to pray. Father God in heaven, I just ask that the things that have been deep in your heart be revealed and that people see who you are, that they're able to see Christ and know who you are. I pray, God, that they fall in love with you that they rejoice in you, that they turn away from darkness to you and run into your arms, that they cry out to you for your salvation, that they cry out that they might be surrendered unto you and know who you are and be yours. In the name of Jesus, so be it. Amen and amen. Um, I was praying about these videos and what the Lord wanted me to do and I walked this out with him. These are all coming from the Lord. Um, and he says, I want people to know who I am. And I prayed and I just, this kept coming. And and I'm going to share things with you that are just intimate and special, um, that reveal a lot of things about Jesus. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to see a glimpse of who he is. I'm, I'm going to hit on something real quick right before I get into this about what the fruit of the Spirit is, which comes from Jesus. And I'm going to read from out of Galatians. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 5, starting in verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. So it's talking about the fruit of the Spirit that comes through Christ. And when you walk with Him and you, you He stretches you, you suffer and you grow in the Lord. I'm not going to sit here and, and um, tell you as a Christian you don't go through trials and tribulation because you will, but it's because Christ is maturing and forming in you. And so you develop the fruit, but I'm going to try to get into who he is and explain some things to you. Um, so here we go. Um, I was walking with the Lord in the spirit and we were on a dirt road. Whether I was in heaven or he was in the earth, or I guess he was in earth walking, but I was with him in the spirit and he leaned over and he picked a sparrow up off the dirt road that had been flattened by a wagon wheel or whatever, but it was just flat. And the Lord was talking to me and he put the sparrow down in the, in his robe next to his, his body. And we were talking and he, he was asking me questions and I was responding to him and, and uh, we kept walking down the road and then he stuck his hand into his robe and he pulled the little sparrow out and it was sitting on his finger and it was alive, and it was just so sweet. He was trying to talk to me about how song is important to him and how he wanted me to be able to sing to him and have voice and be heard and, and be his be able to sing to him. And um and and I'm I'm gonna go into the rest of this uh these visions in just a minute, but I'm gonna read something else to you. You can buy two sparrows for only a copper coin, yet not one sparrow falls from its nest without the knowledge of your father aren't you worth more much more to god than many sparrows so don't worry your father cares deeply about even the smallest detail of your life so i'm going to just mention that because that's the verse that always it, it always reminds me of uh, because god took me to a place in heaven and um it was really spectacular i was you know i had that experience but he was always he wanted. He brought this thing up about birds when I was, uh, you know, years ago with him because he he wanted me to be able to have voice in him, and uh, sing and ha and and have that. He didn't want that to shut down in me. Um, he had raised me up to have voice in him, and he took me to a place in heaven that was a bird sanctuary. And I'm going to try to describe it to you. The grass was real lush and green, like meadow grass. It was about a foot high. We walked up to this beautiful, beautiful bird cage in heaven. But it wasn't a, a real bird cage. It was a, it was trees like poplars, 
and they grew about 40 or 50 feet up in the air and they were in a circular, um, the trees grew in a circle like a birdcage and they're very straight, beautiful poplar saplings that grew straight up and at the top, they all intersected and intertwined and they've had branches that came out and intertwined and there was an opening or a gap in the front of it where you just walked in and sat in the middle of it on a bench. Now, if you can uh, if you can see this in the spirit, it's, it's trees in the shape of a very, very large birdcage and an opening where you could enter in and sit on a bench in the middle of it. And the sun would shine down through the leaves and it was completely open air and it was filled with all these little birds on the branches. All the all these trees had little little branches that intersected and came up and it all came up into a crown and to a point at the top. It was just absolutely stunningly beautiful. And the Lord was holding my hand and he walked me onto the inside of this gorgeous heavenly bird cage. And he just laid on my heart that there were birds that had been born without vocal cords and birds that had suffered without song, birds that had died of a broken heart and never sang to God. And he just, he just wanted me to know that there was a place in heaven that was a sanctuary for birds. And he had me sitting there and it was the most stunningly beautiful moment that he was sharing with me. I, I've seen a lot of amazing things in heaven. I've seen people. He's introduced me to people in heaven. I, I've met quite a few. John the Baptist is something I think he'll let me talk to you about because it was so joyful. And I'll go there on another video right now. I'm just trying to talk to you about how special and intimate God is. This Christ who God gave us, God the Father, loved us so much that he shared himself. He gave us his son, Christ, that we might have a redeemer. And um, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, God in three persons. But the Godhead, Christ is part of that Godhead. And he was given to us as the redemption part, the redeemer that would save us. And those, the fruit in the Spirit, he's so gently, gentle and lowly and kind and humble, but he's also my king, and he's the king of the universe, and I know that every time is going to end up confessing that he's the Messiah, and the king, and the Lord, and they're going to bow, every knee's going to bow, at the end of all things, there's going to be such a tremendous yielding unto him, and it reminds me of another vision I saw years ago that I'll share with you, um, Everything, I, I was in a, a place where it was like there had been a very, very hard rain. And everything was wet and had been washed in rain. But the, it was in the morning. And the sun, the, the Lord came. And I saw light flashing out of his hands like Habakkuk. The prophet Habakkuk saw that. It's in the last chapter of Habakkuk. He saw the same thing of rays of light flashing out of his hands. But I saw it and he was just... He was just suspended in the air, but he was coming down toward me. And I was with other people. And we all started coming down on our knees. We all just started bowing. And it was like, it was just this reverential thing. You, 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 your body just couldn't help but do what it was doing because he's, he's the king. He's so powerful and honorable and good. But he's been wanting me to do this video for the last couple of days. I've been busy since Thanksgiving, <laughs> but he, he's saying, I slow down and put me, put this video out there. It's from my heart and people need to know who I am. So I'm going to conclude in prayer real quick. Jesus, I just pray right now that people know the great love that you have in your heart and how your personality and who you are and how much you love us and how much you give yourself to us and how faithful you are. And I pray right now that this, all these videos just go out into the world and, and touch the heart of everything you want it to touch. And that eyes that have never opened, see, they open and see and ears that have never really opened, opened and hear and hearts that have never known you hear about you and, and, and see and understand and turn and open themselves to you to know the Son of God in the name of Jesus, so be it. Amen and amen. Bye.